all word. Um, Marnie Lichtman is running for Las Galinas. Very important position, as we all know, from everything else that's been happening here, Ross Valley Sanitary, and it's important. This, these, yeah. these districts are important. So, Marnie. Um, Coming. Um, I am really happy to see old friends and new friends, some amazing elected officials, some great candidates, and um, amazing activists. I want to send a special thank you to Megan Clark, who is the Las Bolinas Valley Sanitary District President of the Board, and she and I are campaigning together, and she is such an amazing person, and um, really happy to campaign with her and hopefully work with her in the fall. Marnie, has, you're doing all the work. When you're saying campaign with, you do the work. I sit along like a big fat hick. <laughs> right so. your shirt tail. Yes, that's a better way to say it. Not true at all. Um, I also want to thank my partner, David Curtis. I couldn't run for office without having a supportive, kind partner. And I'm really running for office because of our children. David's children, our children aren't with us today. David's children, Chloe is 10, and Presley is 5, my daughter Clyde is 7. And I'm really running for office for the future of our community and our environment. Um, climate change is the defining crisis of our generation. Um, I, don't, I read a few days ago how there's a lake now at the North Pole, surrounding the North Pole. And I didn't believe it. I really, I, I, I believe most of the good sources, but I, I can't really believe it. And someone posted the time-lapse video of the ice melting around the North Pole. And there is a lake around the North Pole on our planet. And so what does that have to do with the sanitary district? Well, the sanitary district is the most local place where we can work not just on environmental protection, but on environmental improvement. And we have to work on environmental improvement to make sure that we have a healthy place for our children and our grandchildren and their grandchildren to live. So I decided to run number one to make sure that the sanitary district reaches its zero spill goal. Um, I want to help the sanitary district reach its zero waste goal, which is in the sanitary district's plan and in our county's plan. But I want to do more than just that part. I'd like to work on environmental improvement. So what that means to me is adding more solar panels to the sanitary district, selling the local green, clean energy back to Marin Energy Authority, to save money for ratepayers, to be make the sanitary district the leading model local government for being clean and green and environmental leaders. Megan's done an amazing job, and Judy Schriemann, who is not here, she's on vacation, but we can do much, much more in our leadership. It's really exciting to me. Another example of what I'd like to do is expand our lateral assistance program for homeowners. So um, there are lateral pipes that connect our homes to the street, and it's the homeowner's responsibility to keep those pipes clear and without leaks. And so um, our sanitary district has an assistance program for homeowners, but not very many people know about it, not very many people use it. And so one of the things, uh, simple things I'd like to do that can make an improvement is um, making sure that homeowners uh, know about what we can do and their, their roles. Um, the second priority I have is to make Las Galinas Valley Sanitary District a model for government accountability and transparency. You know, here in our neighborhood, I think that we deserve governments where our elected officials are open, available, answer questions, deal with problems every day and every night because we um, need that from our elected officials and our voters deserve that. So um, that is really important to me. Um, so how you can help. Um, we're going to start um, knocking on doors soon. So there's a volunteer sign-up sheet right here. So you can volunteer to knock on doors make phone calls, 
we will have lawn signs, and if you want to have a coffee for me, that would be great. You don't have to have waffles and coffee and mimosas. You can do it any, any form or format. We can meet at the coffee shop, um, so that would be very helpful. I've raised $11,468 oh so far. We're going to meet. Thanks to all of you, uh, we're going to need to raise another $8,500 to make sure that we talk to every single voter in this district, um, and we're going to need your help with that. So there's a little suitcase by the coffee, um, so if you can make your first contribution or second contribution, I'd really appreciate that. Um, so thank you very much, and um, enjoy the rest of the food. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Judy and I saw your application to fill in for somebody that was gone, we just died. We said, here is somebody who seems brilliant, we didn't know you at that time, and gets the whole public health thing. You know, and the whole sea level rise, protecting our plant, developing ponds for storage. We forgot to talk about water recycling. Oh, it's okay. I mean, that'll get done water recycling. But the thing that I found since knowing you is the, be the best thing you can have in a politician is brilliance, hard work, kindness, real ability to listen, great character. I mean, you are the whole package. And you should have been in politics for years. So... Well, I have been, but a little behind the scenes. <laughs> 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 <laughs>